two, three, funk it. So hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Juliet and this is my channel which goes by the name Jules on the Beat. You're welcome. I hope you'll subscribe and stay till the end of the video. So on today's video, I'll be teaching you how to design or make your own affordable wall frames or wall arts. So I was scrolling through the internet and looking through online shops, looking for affordable or budget friendly wall frames or wall art to put in my tiny house. So I, was, I didn't find really affordable ones to start with. Um, so I decided to look for inspos on Pinterest and on YouTube. I found several videos which I combined to come up with a few materials that one can use to create his or her own affordable wall art. And so yeah, so I just came on here to show you how you can do that and I'll also be telling you what items you can use and how much I used for the whole activity. So this this here is an example of what I created. I don't know if you can see it quite well. So it just says not your average girl. So this is quite motivational for me. So I mostly went with inspirational quotes or beautiful just beautiful simple pictures that I'll be showing you and yeah so if you if you're not keen it looks like something that I bought at a decoration shop or a supermarket or even an online online shop so yeah so let me quickly just bring all the items I will be using and show them to you then we can I can also show you how you can come up with your own whole arts. So this box right here has everything that I need for this particular activity and I'm just going to quickly show you what's here. So we have our scissor. I think you remember me getting a scissor telling you I'll be using it for a certain DIY that I'll be showing you guys. So we have our scissor here. We have a few pictures that I printed at a cyber. So this scissor cost 185 shillings and then we have a few pictures here in an envelope so these are the pictures that I have over here we have this and uh, this. this is very inspiring motivating and we also have uh, this one that says make yourself a priority we also have this one that just says positivity and this picture here of phoebe <laughs> from friends if you know me so well you know i'm a fan of friends and i particularly like this picture i think I'll, oh my eyes! My eyes! I think I'll make this and put it in my bathroom because i've seen people recreate such things using this picture and put it in their bathroom it is just funny so these are just a few pictures that i printed out this one's cost me 40 shillings each so one two three four five so i spent around 200 shillings printing these ones out and then we have uh, this black insulating tapes if you go to electrical shops you'll easily find these these go for 30 bob each so the two cost me 60 shillings you'll see when i'll be using them and then we have a few cardboards here that we'll be using as uh, the back of the
it will be a bit easier than than placing the picture at the center then trying to trace out the same dimensions as the other side so if you're not so accurate with your scissor you might end up making one side smaller than the other one so this trick that i'll be showing you on the next one will be a bit easier if this one is a bit harder so yeah so after tracing it out you want to go in with the black insulating tape so the black insulating tape is supposed to act like the frame so i saw uh in someone's video on youtube that they used the black manila where i looked for a black manila everywhere i was going no one sells the black manila so where she found it i don't know i don't know if she spray painted the manila to black and that is what she used but she didn't specify so i just was thinking of something that i'd use because i wanted to use a black a black frame not a brown or a pink or any other color i just wanted to use the black frame so i thought of this and when i went to an electrical shop i found it, it was very affordable so i thought why not use this one it will even work much better and also i'm sure you're wondering if the picture will just remain bare as it looks now the paper i printed the pictures in is the photo paper so it glows i don't know if you can see yeah it glows so it it already looks like there's already there's a glass on top of it so that is not something to worry about that is all sorted out so let me quickly just show you how we will achieve this tape here on this new image now that we are done cutting out the edges of the paper of the board we want to go in with our tape so i'm just going to take a small part of the tape eh, but we are going to get it so i'm just going to take a piece like this and uh, reposition the picture once more and then i'm going to go in with the tape you want to try and put it at the very edge of the So this other side just need a bit of trimming.
good so let us we have two now very nice they're not of the same sizes this is a bit bigger you can do one in a three a four a five a one depending on what kind of picture you want to have in your house or in your space so let us quickly just finish up with the remaining ones and then try and find places to put them so i told you there is another trick where instead of measuring the dimensions here and doing the same here and then cutting it then later going in with the tape you can start by going in with the tape first and then trace out using your scissor which is much easier because you know where to cut uh, where ex where exactly you need to cut so that is the technique i'm going to be using for the remaining pictures that we have Okay, so guys, I just finished with our wall arts. So I found a cardboard and finished this one. So I'll be putting this one in my bathroom. And then I also, I have a baby picture of me. <laughs> I usually put it by my nightstand. So I also made a frame for it because it usually falls sometimes so this one will give it a bit of body so that it can stand much stronger so this is everything that we made today i'm so happy on how they turned out let me just quickly position them in different parts of the house and uh, see how it turns out
have uh, a wall next to the bathroom so this wall initially only had this painting which still looks nice so i just added the four pictures up there and uh, they blended out so well i was so happy with that so that will stay there i don't know if they will stick but if they just fall off i can glue them back to the wall and one thing i love about the insulating tape it, it does not interfere with the wall paint so that will not be a problem so i just finished placing the art all around the, the house and they turned out great i cannot stop staring at this wall this is where i put the four wall arts that i showed you so they turned out pretty great please comment down below if you liked it if you'd like to try it i'd be so so happy to hear from you guys so the whole activity cost me around 300 shillings so 200 was for printing out the pictures please make sure you print them on the photo paper to achieve the glossy feel that comes with the paper and then for the insulating tapes i got two at 60 shillings and then for the cardboard maybe if you don't have some at home you can spend around 40 shillings getting cardboards for the whole activity so in total you may end up spending around 300 shillings which is not bad for starters so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video please comment down below leave a thumbs up and kindly 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 do not forget to subscribe tell your friends to pull up because uh, i'm sure this information was so much helpful so yeah guys till the next time i'll see you soon in the next one and uh, keep safe take care of yourself i love you guys bye I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.